Okay, I'm here to bring you an update. Actually, I'm bringing you two updates dealing with the whole Neil Wilson, John Lee Coward, because I refuse to call him by his last name, uh, situation. One of them came out a week ago, and I, it, unfortunately, I wasn't aware of it because, of course, lamestream media is not going to talk about it. I'm very sure that if Nia Wilson's name was Nina Wilson and she was a blonde haired, blue eyed white woman, they would have put it out there on lamestream media for all of us to know about. But because, you know, that wasn't the case, we got to dig for ourselves. But the first update involves John Lee Coward. Now, the last time I talked about him was when they said that they brought in some psychiatrists to see if they could um, figure out if he was competent enough to stand trial. They brought in two at the time. At the time, it was two of them. Well, now they have brought in a third one. Like they are determined to try to find this monster not competent to stand trial for the murder of this woman and the attempted murder of her sister. They are doing everything in their power to try to get him off. I mean, it's bad enough that they are still questioning the whole hate crime thing, unless I may have forgotten if they took the hate crime away or not. But sometimes I get my uh, cases mixed up because I know that they took the hate crime thing away from the one case involving Sean Urbanski in University of Maryland College Park with um, Richard Collins the third and this one should be no um, I don't know if it'll be no different or they're actually going to stick with it because they actually did find that this guy has some white supremacist um, group ties on his Facebook page but they're saying they want to bring in another uh, person because I think one psychiatrist said that they thought he wasn't competent enough to stand trial another one said that he was now they want a third opinion like they are doing everything in their power to try to get this man to walk i'm sorry i don't mean to call him a man they're doing everything they can to get this piece of shit to walk away from this or at least not to the or get or get to the point where he doesn't have to serve a very long time in jail if he even gets any jail time but let's be real here he should get as much jail time as possible will he who knows and if he does how much we still don't know the way that they keep pushing it off the thing is you got to question will there even be a trial but that's pretty much update number one the second update involves more so nia wilson's family they are drawing up a lawsuit against the bart train system for inadequate safety basically they said they didn't have enough uh safety precautions that could have prevented their daughter from being murdered and their other daughter from almost being murdered and you know what i can't even be mad at them because at a lot of these train stations there aren't that much security there if they have any at all and i feel like if they're going to have security there it's not it's not enough for the cameras to do something i mean what a camera is going to do all it can do is pick up surveillance you would have to have security or on uh, like both levels on each opposite ends of the trains one on one end, one on the other hell you need to have one in between on both sides of the platform because most train stations won't most train system runs on two different sides of the same track so they need to have them like that so it should be at least six total up there and yes i truly believe that if they had more security that this definitely could have been avoided because this did not this this woman and her sister did not deserve what happened to them, especially Nia, since she's the deceased. So we'll see what the outcome is with the family and the train um, system. When I was reading the article, it didn't say anything about them giving any type of uh, word as far as um, comments from the system itself. But we'll see if they have a strong enough case to actually sue the system um, for what they did and um see what the outcome would be if the um lawsuit goes forward and if they do probably win you know that'll put um that system on notice but like i said a lot of these train stations don't have enough security hell it's so bad that some of these metro buses would need security because you'll be surprised what goes on on a lot of these metro buses but that's pretty much all I have right now as far as the updates go. These, this was a two-for-one special, I guess you could call it. And let me know what you think down in the comments, and I will talk to you in the next one.